today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. here today at the big goodwill with Dagny it is in the afternoon and uh, it's not at five o'clock at night so I'm hoping we're gonna find some goodies today so here we go look at these glasses they have little birds on them look it's one of these the elephant. I think the elephant's Lennox. I bet it is too. Lennox for the win. Is it? Oh Stickers covering it. I see it. I'm going to take a little kitty. There's a hand painted nappy dish. Uh, made in. I can't really read it, it's very faded. One ninety nine. Could probably get about twelve bucks for that. Here's a nice cranberry glass vase for a dollar ninety nine. Probably upwards of twelve dollars for that. Stick that in here. Maybe like this. Here's some weeping gold. Weeping gold ceramic. I'm not sure who makes this one, but I love the weeping gold. Dollar ninety. All right, today's turning out to be a pretty decent day. What is this? That is an Aztec death whistle, if I ever <laughs> saw one. <laughs> Have you seen that movie yet? No. Oh, it's the new Ghostbusters movie. I watched it with Juliet the other night. That's actually pretty cool. It's, you know, it's probably a souvenir piece. It's not really Aztec or anything like that. <laughs> and what is this thing? That is Flash. It's a Greek key design, $2.99. Looks like originally it may have had gold that has worn off. I think it's also flashed. But it's not in that bad of condition. I think it's definitely vintage, it's hand blown. $2.99, I'll take that. Here's a pretty tile, it's got a little kitty on it. I like that. $1.99. Is this thing and wood St. Paul, Minnesota handmade? I don't know. It's handmade though. It's, I don't know what it's made out of. Oh, it's heavy. What is it supposed to do? I wonder. It's very strange. It's strange enough that I think I'm gonna buy it and figure it out later. 57 of 90. I almost wonder if it's a musical. It's very heavy, so I think there might be something in, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. There's some little fishies. I can't really tell how old those are, but those would be fun bathroom decor. Just need some bubbles to go with them. Look at the fishies. Do you see it? Oh my. Come here, you. What are you? Besides amazing, it was hiding down here. I love it. It's got like arts and crafts, um, pottery look to it. It's fifteen dollars. I think maybe we'll grab that. They've got a price of fifteen dollars on there. How much is Google asking? One ninety nine. Why aren't you digging in here? I don't know. 
<laughs> what do you dig in here? Oh my gosh. Well, the cart is clearly filling up. <laughs> um, I just said to Tag, I'm like, wow, I guess I I'm doing pretty good today. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I did grab this mug off of the cart when they wheeled it up. I absolutely love that. I might have to sneak that into my mug collection, even though I don't need any more mugs. <laughs> and these little Hatchimals. Um, I thought Juliet would like those. I wanted that. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> um, so this uh, poppy pitcher down here, it is marked on the bottom, but we couldn't really make it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but I love the poppies on that, so I'll take that too. <laughs> There's some motto where happy the house that shelters a friend. Oh, that's that um motto where, right? Yes. I forget who makes it though. I don't know. 1950. I'm surprised there's no damage to it. I'm trying to get down low and check the shelves. Ooh, what is this? A lot of the artwork ends up on the bottom shelves. I kind of like that one. It's three dimensional. Look at the scene. Looks like it's got some age to it. Oh, there's a inscription on the back even. And it does not appear to be in English. Um, but it's Colombia. Um, it's, it's in Spanish, but it's in cursive Spanish. So any chance that I had of those four years of uh, Spanish coming through are not going to work on this. With much? Oh, that's right. You're taking you're taking Spanish. Not to, brag, not to oh, Yeah. Okay. So it's fresh in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure, but I kind of really like that. Oh, that's neat. Isn't that cool? Oh, well, that is cool. I was hiding. I actually, I can't, I bent down to check out this one, and then that was like right there, and I was like, that's so much cooler. Rejoice. Although, I mean, that is pretty cool, but I think I like the other one more. With much what? With much something for something, something. Something, something, something um, Gonzalez. Of like for Carmen Gonzalez. Made in Colombia in 1921. Um, maybe, maybe oh, January 21st, 1991. Is that January, everybody? Please let Jocelyn know, <laughs> not me. <laughs> That's really neat. You did better than I could do. Now, see that signature there? Is that on the back here? No. Hmm. That's really cool. You should get I it like and put it. it in your giant card. I, okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. It's not overflowing yet. All right, so I could not find a lid for this. Um, I consulted Dagny on it, and she thinks I should still get it, even though it doesn't have a lid. So just because of the condition of it, um, there's not a whole lot of scratching. It barely even looks used, to be honest. So now we're going to grab it, despite the missing lid. Quite the trip to the Goodwill. I literally filled my cart. And there was still fantastic stuff to be found on the shelves and I had to start being a little bit more picky. Um, Dagny found some great stuff as well and I'm so glad that that little weirdo bunny with the red eyes was still there for her because that's all she, that's all she was talking about until she found that little bunny. Um, so yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Our total spend was $108. And I think we're going to get out of here now, but don't forget to go check out Dagny's channel. She'll be posting a video as well. Um, she is flyingpigthrifts.com, and that will link you to her eBay, her YouTube, and all of that. So I'm going to sign off now, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.